So somebody who has been a professional for a while now, established on the national team, used to going internationally for travel, but also uh, as into cooking and things like that. What do you, what's your go-to food when you travel and you show up in a dining hall area that's maybe not the foods that you get to mm. eat at home? What are, what are you looking for that's like, oh, I'm so stoked that they have that. I can rely on that. Right. Uh, yeah, that's tricky. Uh, and so most of my places I've gone are Asia and they're big on rice, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, so one of the trips I went on, there wasn't soy sauce hardly ever out. And also in times in America, we eat rice with soy sauce. So I learned from that trip to take your own soy sauce overseas when you're going to Asia. So, uh, I think it was worlds in 19. I ended up, I took my whole little bottle of soy sauce and everyone was laughing at me. I'm like, there's not soy sauce in the dining room. I'm about to be the man. Um, so that's one. Eggs can be really tricky when you're mass producing it. You can get like the ones that look, look a little green yeah. or they're maybe a little bit runny in some countries. Uh, but normally like potatoes and eggs are my go-to breakfast just here. So seeing that overseas, like hash browns or like I'll do tater tots sometimes. So that's what I go to. But then if the eggs are runny, that kind of makes you feel a little weird about it. Um, pasta's normal, pasta and rice is normally pretty safe. And you can you can add some sort of protein and vegetables and kind of get your way through it. I mean, it's it's a short period of time we're over there so you're just trying to yeah. not do anything too drastic from what you're used to yeah. like if you eat mcdonald's and taco bell every day all day you're not going to switch and start going eating salads a week before the competition uh-huh. that's just going to ruin everything it'd be uh-huh. better for you if if that's what you're doing to stay with that uh-huh. so i'm just going to try and i normally like to kind of stay within my comfort zone and then after yeah. i'm done racing if there's something i want to try then then that's the time to go for it if you had to pick one meal to eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? Country fried steak. You could have it if it's for breakfast. You have hash browns. If it's for anything else, you have mashed potatoes. You throw some gravy on top. Cream style corn is always solid. Um, Heavy. Yeah. It's, I can't. Every time I see it's my kryptonite. Every time I'm at a restaurant, if I see it, I don't. I stop looking. I'm like, I can't not order it. So, what's uh, What's your signature dish to make? Uh, my wife likes my lasagnas, my pot pies. Um, I do make a pretty good pot pie. It's pretty dangerous though, because they they're kind of heavy, and then uh-huh. we'll eat most of it, and or not all of it in one sitting. Um, I've gotten really good at meatballs and meatloaf. Uh, but it's kind of like you see something you want to try, and it's like trying to figure it out. And you, we have people give you recipes and cookbooks for Christmas and birthdays and stuff. Yeah. And I feel bad because I'm like you don't you ever hardly use it. So I'm like, <laughs> if you find it. You write down the recipe and then you put uh-huh. that and you start consolidating all of these recipes that you actually like uh-huh. into one cookbook uh-huh. and that's what we have. so when we're 80 we're gonna have a cookbook full of all of these recipes that we like from whether it's from my grandma or yeah. from my dad's recipe or my mom's and we uh-huh. are like zach's mom's da, 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 da. yeah and like that's our recipe and you don't mess with that and we write it in pen so we'll still be there what are you working on that you haven't honed yet are you still trying to nail what Oh, whew, that's tricky. I just got a smoker, uh, nice. so I'm really excited about that, and which is great because I'm I'm sponsored by Thomason's Barbecue uh-huh. up in uh, Hendersonsville, Kentucky. So that barbecue sauce and stuff smokes really well. Um, and so I'm trying to play with that, and I've done some pork butts, and I think I've done okay, but I think I can do better. And that's like one of those toys you don't want to have. You don't want to do good on the first try. It takes the fun out of it. Uh-huh. You got to do the experimentation, figure yeah. out how you want the bark and the smoke ring and, and doing that. Yeah. Um, but I got the one with Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. So I told my <laughs> oh, wife, geez. I was like, if you plugged in and put the meat on, I could smoke the meat as I'm flying back from anywhere. I'm like, All you got to do That's is That's next level. In. Yeah. <laughs> it, is it a little bit ridiculous? Yes. Is it, is it going to be delicious when I get home? Yes. Is it going to be ready when I get home? Yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, the perils of the athlete lifestyle too. Yeah. Do you did you do a turkey? No, uh, we cook. So we went down to my parents' house. So I was, me and my mom seasoned the turkey with all kinds uh-huh. of stuff. We put uh-huh. a buttload of stuff inside and around and on top. Uh, some things I think my mom didn't think that we should be using as much of, and some things I thought my mom was putting on that we maybe should be. Using. It uh-huh. turned out delicious though. We baked it, and for a couple hours we didn't think it was going to come out in time because their oven chose. Thanksgiving Day to be the day that everything is going to be kind of wonky and not work as well. Of course, uh, but it turned out it's like we're like let's check it one more time, let's see where it's at, and it was it was done. So we're like pull it. I carved it, and I was trying to do the the proper carve of cut the, the whole breast off and the legs and the thighs. Uh-huh. Uh, I think that's cool if you can take a whole carcass. You end up with one carcass, two thighs, two drumsticks, two wings, and two breasts. 
kind of like uh, the yeah. Gordon Ramsay stuff. And uh -huh. it's harder to do when it's hot because it's, it's hot and you're trying to finagle the meat off. So yeah. working that knife skills and stuff is fun for me. Yeah. Have you been uh, coaching up any of the USA Swimming athletes on getting sponsors that are kind of outside of the standard swimming space as somebody who's got that going on yeah i think everyone's kind of like pretty open especially on the national team once they're pro and especially now then our ideals it's like everyone's pretty yeah. much open to building a relationship and you gotta start somewhere and it's like like hey i really like your product i've been using it for years i'm gonna keep using it it works for me yeah let me be an advocate for you guys and then yeah. you guys build the build the company from there yeah um i always thought it'd be really cool to have like a, a trucker hat of uh, one of my sponsors or have like a t-shirt with all of the logos like everywhere kind of like a yeah NASCAR like NASCAR stickers. yeah, yeah. For sure or like a cap with all of them over it uh -huh. and like like ridiculously the kind of like just stickers kind of everywhere yeah why not I, I think that would look really cool because uh -huh. it's, like, it's like oh this guy's like because that draws people in like yeah, of what course. you got going on it's like yeah okay you got Thomas's barbecue you got <laughs> tier you got Lulu uh, the ion mattress and you got all these uh -huh. different companies and you're like oh like that's pretty cool uh -huh. so why don't they allow the tattoos like the henna tattoos or something uh, that would be a great idea actually yeah. i would do that i mean i don't know if they're allowed are I, they allowed i've i have no idea i don't know if i've seen anybody with it but if you can have an actual tattoo and i don't see why you couldn't have a henna tattoo i'll look into that that'd be bold if you had an actual tattoo though you make it, like really big <laughs> like especially fly like you put it on the back or like the, the shoulder like i think the shoulder would be prime uh-huh prime spot compared to like the chest or something so yeah for sure i'm gonna look into that